Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's funny. I, I realize that I say, uh, <laughs> kind of say that phrase every time I get on live. Um, if you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little dark in here and where I live. Right now in Texas, it's uh, pretty cloudy. So if you see me kind of dark, just let me know. I will try to adjust some things. Um, but yes, I'm super excited. Let's go. Today is Monday. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are going through a lot of things right now, personally in their lives, but look, God is good. Today is Monday and I'm super excited to be back giving you guys some more knowledge on different things, photography, but today we're not going to be talking about photography. We're going to be talking about the mindset and how important it is to really make sure that you don't get so caught up in the noise and then also how to execute through that noise, if that makes sense. So i um, super excited to talk about that today and I'm, I'm gonna let a few people go ahead and chime in in terms of joining the live call, all right? I mean, I'm sorry, live video. <clears throat> So if you're just watching this, uh, welcome to the replay viewers. Let me know by typing replay in the comments that you're watching this later. Uh, that'd be super awesome. And we're gonna get started in just a second. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just looking on my phone to make sure that my live is good. Okay, so I'm noticing that I am kind of looking a little bit delayed. And that's because my camera is trying to capture everything in motion due to the lack of light that's in here. Um, but yeah, so just ignore that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and dive into this. All right. Super excited. Let's see here. All right. So um, one second. All right. So today we're going to be talking about how to get out of your head and execute. And what do I mean by that is basically a lot of us photographers um, in this realm of photography in terms of weddings, whether it's beyond that nature, landscape, whatever the case may be, just being an entrepreneur in general, there are a lot of things coming at us on a daily basis that makes us wanna quit, that makes us want to um, look for something else to do. Maybe you feel like this is not for me. You try so many things and things aren't working out. So you're just like, man, you know what? I just give up. And that's pretty much, you know, just a few things that we go through as uh, entrepreneurs. And I want to address those things. And hopefully this video can help you see that you're not alone and there's something always greater on the other side. You just gotta be patient consistent and willing to put in the work. Yes, I know it's easy to say, but trust me, um, it's, it's just what we have to do as entrepreneurs, right? All right, cool. So um, just give me one moment. I'm gonna check one last thing for my audio. Okay, cool. All right, so the first thing on, and I'm looking at my list right now. So the first thing is you have a 100% track record of, survi of surviving all of your bad days. Let me repeat that. You have a 100% track record on all of your bad days. So I have listened to um, an interview with Steve Harvey on YouTube and he, he was on stage and he asked the question, he said to his audience, he said, how many in here ever had a bad day? And everybody raised their hand. And then he also said, how many people in here had a bad day that they didn't believe they were gonna make it? Everybody rolls their hand. Then he said uh, something on the lines of, how many in here had a bad day, thought they would never make it, and just completely feel like everything is just over with. Like, this is it, nothing else is good is gonna happen. Everybody rolls their hand. And, it's, and he said, well, basically, looking at the audience, they're still here. So every one of us have a 100% track record of bad days. And that's super important to, to, to realize that because what that means is that no matter what is thrown at you, you're going to survive. This is not permanent. You're going to survive another day. 
So always give yourself credit because there are people out there who don't survive, who didn't survive, who gave in, who gave up, and you're still here. So that is a huge blessing that I feel a lot of us do not take the time to sit back and realize because so much is happening around us that we don't have you know, that set, set time to really reflect on all the things we've been through. So that's really huge. So I, I just want to encourage you all just to remember that, like, you're still here. You have not, you know, experienced anything crazy enough to make you quit or enough to um, have you on drugs and just spazzing out, you know, just crazy stuff. So you have a 100% track record and all of your good days outweigh your bad days. So always remember that. This, this, and I want to ask you all, just reflect on the time where you thought, man, I'm not going to be able to make this. I don't know how I'm going to pay this rent. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know how I'm going to get through this particular part of my life. And then you suddenly get through it. So remember that. And because as an entrepreneur, once you start getting into those higher earning numbers, like six figures, seven figures, I'm not there yet, but uh, I know that there are a lot of people who talk about this is when you get to those higher numbers, it doesn't mean you just slack off and just chill and relax and all that. That means you got to grind even harder to maintain that. Now, grinding hard, not necessarily working because the goal isn't for you to work for the dollar. It's, it's more so for you to put people in place that have them work for you. possible hurdles that are bigger than what it is now so just remember that you know you are going to be in a good position you just got to press through all right and some i guess there is a saying that says you know higher levels higher devils so that's pretty much what kind of why people say those type of sayings but um yeah that's just how it is so just know that you are going to make it on the other side okay so that's what I wanted to say. Um, and so for the second one is that you have to change your language. So a lot of people say, for instance, um, I cannot afford to buy this particular item or I can't become this great photographer. I can't see myself being this or being that. Stop saying that. Instead, say it differently. Say something like, Instead of saying, I can't, say, how can I? So how can I afford this item? How can I be a great wedding photographer? How can I um, shoot like this? Or whatever the case may be. Because once you ask yourself that question, just by changing your language, your mind, your mind begins to start working on, on just, just it's, it's like you're putting oil in the engine, right? So your mind is going to start working. So every day of your life, you, your mind is looking out for opportunities to see how you can afford this or be this or be that. But if you automatically out the gate say, I can't afford or I can't be this, it's already done. It's already done. Just look at everybody in the past in history that built airplanes, made electricity, that have done things that people would otherwise tell them they can't do. So I just want to let you know that everybody in this group, you're qualified to be the best wedding photographer in the world, to be the most profitable, profitable wedding photographer in the world, or whatever you see yourself, you can be that. You just got to ask, you, you just got to change your language and ask yourself, how can I be? And then when you do, you might type on Google. It's funny because sometimes I do that. Like, how do you make X amount a year? or how do you become wealthy or how do you get a great credit score because you're 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 pushing yourself to think beyond your limit so stop saying you can't and start saying how can i okay so that's for that part and then another one is change um a lot of people um when they wake up right when you have a 9 to 5 you have you you'll say wow i have to go to work or let's say you're a full-time photographer and you're like, wow, I have to shoot this wedding. I have to do this. It's just like you're saying I have to. It's almost like a burden. So it's, it's instead, say I get to. So when you have a job that you really don't like, wake up saying I get to go to work 
because what happens is that there aren't a lot of people that can. If you look around with COVID and the, the what is it, the economy and the wars and all this stuff that's going on, people cannot go to work. And here we are that we, that, oh, here we are in the position to go to work. So you have to remember that because you could be in a position where you are homeless or going through di different financial struggles, but the fact that you get to go to work is an amazing feeling. So, and it's also empowering to you because you're, you're like, I get to do this, not I have to do this. So the fact that you just change a few of your words and how you say them can drastically change the mindset of, of how you enter in your day-to-day -day life. So just remember that, change your language, all right? <clears throat> All right, so another one is have a clear goal. So I know this one, especially for me, when people say, what is your goal, right? Where, you, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Honestly, that's a very broad answer um, because every day things can change, which will result that that five-year goal is not what you thought it was going to be. So instead, just have a goal in this year or in the next six months, or in the next month. Make it really close, so that way you can actually grab and touch it, so then you can constantly snowball effect this into bigger things, such as years and years and years ahead, because you you know, you know you put in action what's in front of you. So for example, my goal is to make, make $10,000 a month in wedding photography. That's my goal. So I had months where I hit 7,000. I had months where I hit um, probably a little bit over 10. I have to go back and look, but not consistent $10,000 months. So it could be, you know, months where I had 10,000 or seven to $10,000 in deposits, but that's just for that month. And you already know as an entrepreneur, we don't know what the months lie ahead in terms of finances. So having a goal is basically saying, I want to make this dollar amount per month, per year, and then you break down that in, in months, into weeks, into days, and figure out what can you do to meet those goals. So just to make it really simple, if you wanted to make $10,000 a month in weddings, that means you need to book at least three weddings at $3,500 a month. And in order to get those three, you gotta figure out how many people need to be on a, on a phone call with you so you can book them and then how many of those people that book a phone call, how many you need to then reach to get those 30 people to book a phone call. So you kind of see that there's a lot of dynamics to it. So just in, in a short, like to make it short, for me, I know that I will have to contact or at least expose myself to 300 brides to get at least 30, um, let's say form submissions. And out of those 30 people that submitted a form, uh, let's say 30 of them, oh, I know 30 people who submitted the form and I talked to them on the phone, let's say only three of them booked me. So now you have that month booked. So you need to be, every single month, I need to be in front of 300 new engaged couples in order to get 30 phone call sessions. Then out of that 30, I will book three people out of that 30. Now, Obviously, you can book more than that. Like I just, I'm just trying to make it to where you guys can see what I mean in terms of setting goals. But knowing what it will take to get that amount is super important. So you might be in a position where you don't know. Just send me a DM, like text me, and I'll be more than happy to help you see how to figure out, you know, your daily goals in terms of how many people you should be contacting every day. Because for me, I know it's at least 15 brides every day I contact. All right. And I don't want this to make I don't want to make this overwhelming for anybody, because, again, your goal may not be that much. You might say, well, this is just a side hustle for me for now. I just want to make at least, you know, an extra thousand dollars or extra two thousand dollars a month to cover some bills. That's totally fine. Just shoot me a DM. I would love to um, help you with that. So have a clear goal. Um, even beyond finances, it can be uh, by the third or let's say by December, I want to already have mastered my photography, understanding, you know, um, certain functions of my camera, maybe certain uh, poses, whatever the case may be. Um, just create the ultimate goal. So you want to write that down and figure out what steps you need to take 
in order to reach that big goal. All right. And uh, another one is seeking. This is important. Seeking validation. Now, as a photographer, I don't know. I know some of you are new, but a lot of us who've been in it for a couple of years or so, or maybe less. I and I'm speaking for me. I used to shoot images and upload images for other photographers. So what do I mean? So the couples that I booked were amazing, right? So they, they booked me, they want Canon shots, they want these type of shots, but me personally, I wanted to do more dramatic shots. So what does that mean? That means a lot of couples that are booking photographers, they don't look for dramatic shots. They don't look for that magazine look. They most more so look for the candid, you know, real life emotion um, type of feel. So what ended up happening was I would get a lot of followers and likes from other big name um, or, you know, mid range photographers. And I look great on social media. However, they're not the ones that are booking me. It's the brides. So you have to remember who you're targeting. And I don't know if you see my video, which I talked about how to set up your avatar and, you know, discover your ideal client. If you haven't seen that video, send me a DM. I will link that to you. And if I didn't make a video on that, uh, which I believe I did, I will make another one here on the group, okay? And this will help you um, structure your content just for your bride rather than for other people. So when you seek validation, the only validation that you should, you should be more concentrated on is when that deposit hits your account. As soon as your first deposit hits your account, that's all the validation you need. You don't need your mom, your parents, your brother, your sister, your nephew. You don't need none of that because they're not the ones paying. But as soon as a bride pays you, I don't care what amount, that's all the validation you need because that bride is then going to refer people and then you're going to start slowly but surely build your business up. And that's all you need to focus on. So stop seeking validation from others because I can really mess with your, your head a lot because if they say something that is... Um, pretty much negative like oh I don't think you can do this or oh, I don't think that looks right but your clients are saying otherwise you don't want to mess your head up and screw up your overall target market because of someone else opinion so push that out the way that's not important focus on your brides okay and another one is to show up honestly just showing up and I'll explain what that means so Showing up is basically saying, I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to practice my photography skills. I'm going to try to understand advertising and building out my target market or my avatar. And that's showing up. Basically, you setting out your daily goals and you actually show up to do them. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to get a booking or you're going to get something out of it. But what this means is that your discipline and that you're consistent and oftentimes you're not going to see people reach out to you even though you've been posting or creating content it doesn't matter what matters is that you stay consistent and disciplined so wh whether that consistency be you're going to post you know one time a week whatever it is just for the sake of being consistent is super important why because What's going to happen is that once a bride comes to you and they ask you for your website or your Instagram, they're going to see the latest thing you've done. And you got to ask yourself, if you were a bride and you seen that, would you be comfortable booking or setting up a phone call? And if the answer is no, then you need to continue to sharpen your skills, but also keep it updated. The the Because let's be honest, nobody wants outdated stuff. So if you have anything online that is shot two or three years ago, you need to post things now. Otherwise, you're competing with those people in terms of, you know, photographers and and just that alone. But like, it's crazy. Like, I actually had brides say to me that the reason why they're booking me or the reason why they're on this phone call with me is because other photographers just don't respond. And it blows my mind. Like, wow, like. It could have been something way different, but just the fact that other people don't respond and you did, it's just, it's amazing. So I would say just show up on everything that you want to do. Take it one step at a time. Don't try to cram everything in one day. 
just do what you can. But the fact that you're doing something is better than just not doing anything at all. So just show up. And the last thing I want to say is this is not permanent. Okay. So whatever you're going through right now, just know it's not permanent. You have better days coming. Trust me when I say you do. I'm going to give you an example. January, I had COVID and I couldn't do a wedding at all. February, it was an ice storm and my flight got canceled to a wedding that I had in Los Angeles. So I had to dish out more money to pay for a team to take care of a bride. And then this month, uh, me and my wife got hit with so many car troubles and the expenses were, oh my goodness, it was just crazy. Let's just say that. And even at this moment, looking at those things, we're still surviving. We have a house, uh, well, technically an apartment. We have our beautiful daughter. We're married, you know, that's still my best friend. I'm her best friend. We have food, we have our cars. So what I'm trying to say is that everybody struggles on a different level in different seasons, but just know it's not permanent and you still gotta see the overall vision ahead of you. Because what you don't want is to fold up and quit when you have things coming. Trust me, people are watching you guys. Like, that's one thing I want you to know. Everybody's watching somebody. And all it takes is for you to continue the post. And I love it. Someone has said, like, you're one post away. You just never know. You're one post away from that dream wedding. You're one post away from someone finally logging into the Instagram that needs something that's seen your post. So that's why being consistent is so important because you'll be top of mind. And then also, you just never know. Life, like, there's so many people on this planet, the odds of you, you know, possibly not getting anything come on just measure it out like you have over a billion people on this planet i believe that's right and imagine you posting something all it takes is just a few people to see that and then you can be already jumping 10 times higher than everybody else so just know that yes you might feel defeated you might feel alone you might feel frustrated but i promise you stay consistent stay and understand why you're doing what you're doing and just know that you have better days coming like i said just think back on all the stuff that you you like you could have been dead you could have been shot you could have been any bad case scenario that you can think of but yet you're still here now i know some of you might not be religious i'm a christian so i believe um everything happened for a reason and I honestly could have been dead. Like, like I, I believe in high school, I was on a trip and the person that's, because I actually drowned in a pool. <laughs> that was stupid. But anyway, the person that came on the trip that actually saved me from drowning was not supposed to be there. I don't know how it worked out for him to be there, but the people I thought that save me that actually was supposed to be there they thought i was just joking around and i really could have died seriously but the person who saved me was not supposed to be there so to me i feel like god is like you're not like he's not done with me yet for my wife she actually could have been dead giving birth and it, it's just a number of things that could have happened to her but yet she's still here with a healthy baby our baby so i look at it like okay god so you obviously want us here. You already see what's going to happen before we even ask you. So I'm not going to trip. But again, I know some of you probably aren't religious. And I would say to really honestly, um, I'm, and this is not like, <laughs> it's not like a gospel message or anything like that. But basically what I'm trying to say is that for people who aren't religious and don't have a peace or don't have anyone to lean on, um, but it's going to be difficult because you think everything falls on you and that's going to create more stress. And I just don't want, I don't want you guys to go through that. All right. So that's why I said about this is not permanent because better days are coming. All right. So I want to talk about a few action steps, um, that we can implement from this video. So the first one, I want you all to focus and what on what's in front of you. So basically whatever that you put on your to-do list on today or tomorrow, 
just focus on that. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Focus on that moment because anything can happen in 24 hours. Okay. So focus on that moment. So building your website, um, going outside practicing, whatever the case that you put on your daily schedule, just focus on that. All right. Take it easy. Take it one step at a time. Put one task after the other. Don't try to do multitasking things like you try to practice and while you're outside practicing, you're on a phone call with a client. Don't do that. Take it one step at a time. Okay. The second thing is change your language. So like I said earlier, stop saying I can't. Start saying how can I. Stop saying I have to go to work. Start saying I get to go to work. Just by changing your language, you will see how amazing that feels and then you feel more in control instead of being in control. That's crazy. You feel more control instead of being in control, but you're in control when you feel more control. Anyway, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, all right? Um, the third action one is have a clear goal. So whether it's financial, whether it's you know your camera, knowledge, education, have a, a write the ultimate goal and then reverse engineer it so that you can see what you can do every day to reach that goal. Uh, the fourth one is know that you're qualified. So uh, a few of you all, and I, honestly, like a lot of you already know, I've been messaging a lot of people on the group one-on-one um, -on -one just to really build a relationship with you all because I really want to understand, you know, what your goals are and, and what you're trying to do. And a lot of you told me that some of your work, you don't really like it or you feel like some some people don't like it. And when I go and check out your work, it's freaking legit. Like a few people told me that I looked on the Instagram. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like your work is amazing, but it's that confidence. And also it's that, um, self qualification. So it's like you're, you're deeming yourself unqualified when other people see you as qualified. So everybody that's on this group, I don't care if you never touch the camera, the fact that your mind is already thinking the way it is, you're qualified, okay? So just remember that. And then the last one is that you will get better, all right? You will get better, your days will get better, everything is gonna work out. Now, if you are purposely putting yourself into debt or you purposely putting yourself into situations where you did it on purpose, it's, that's a little different. I'm talking about people who are investing in themselves, who are trying and don't see the fruits of their labor or don't see the manifestations happening, but they're really putting the work in. I'm telling you, it's going to come back to you. I don't know how, I don't know when, but it's going to happen. So just continue to stay consistent, continue to stay diligent and focused, and you will reach those goals. All right. So. I hope this video helped everybody out. Um, let me know in the comments um, any questions that you have, any um, remarks, like anything else you will add on to how you can get out of your head. Or if you have any tips that helped you, please leave them in the comments so people can see it and implement them. Uh, but with that being said, um, next week, I wanna give you guys this. So let's see here, what I'm gonna be talking about on next week, give me one second. One second, it's loading up right here. Let me see. Da, 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 da. All right, so next Monday, I'm gonna be talking about email listing. All right, email lists are king. This is gonna be super dope. A lot of you um, probably never tapped into the email marketing uh, type of situation, but I'm gonna be talking about why email lists are important. And if you haven't already, every couple, I don't care who it is, like anybody that you booked under any type of genre of photography, if you haven't started to collect their emails, start collecting their emails. So I'm gonna be telling you guys more about that next week. Um, again, happy Monday to everybody. Super excited to um, see everybody's growth in the group. And like I say, if you have any other, um, friends or family or anyone you know that's interested in wedding photography and want to learn more about how they can start and make profit, please send them an invite. Um, I would love to have them on board just to spread more knowledge in this area. And like I say on every video, if not, this will be the first, 
if you have any questions please contact me um i did have a few people ask uh well actually i'm just gonna say this and this is not to sell anything but i do have a mentorship program program coaching program i haven't put it on this group yet it's still being worked on but if that's something that you guys are interested in wanting to learn more about let me know uh, but like i say every monday i'm going to be going on live giving you more and more and more trainings on different things and just giving you a bunch of stuff that can help your business but if you haven't just reach out to me on any questions i'll answer anything that you guys have i don't care if it's crazy wild small big i got you and um yeah that's about it so i'm signing out great talking to you all have a blessed blessed monday and i'll see you through the group on messenger and also on live video next monday all right y'all have a good one